Hello and welcome to the LDM show. It's another Thursday here. But you, you know what? I got to stop opening with another Thursday because if you're watching on Bronx Net, you're going to get confused because it's not Thursday. But uh, if you are watching on Bronx Net, it's another Monday. <laughs> so uh, anyway, guys, thank you for uh, watching another episode of the LDM show. Uh, in this episode, I'm going to be doing a little bit of my podcast called Speak Out. That means it's going to get ratchet out here. We are going to get to the point. And we're basically going to be talking about today about when you grow into business, do you lose friends, how do you feel about it, and how to make your company grow a little bit more without, uh, I guess, without the feelings and stuff like that. We're going to talk about that as well. And then uh, I do want to um, shout out to the people who got hurt last week in the, in the shooting. I wanna, I'm going to be talking about that a little bit more today about stupid kids and what are they doing now so and prejudice prejudice is another thing i want to talk about today because we are trying to stop racism and prejudice and all this stuff and it is kind of hard to stop it when you have little kids and when i say little kids little black and spanish um kids doing these stupid things in the streets to make people get racist and become prejudiced and all that. Because, honestly, these teenagers nowadays, I'll be looking at them like, oh, my God. I, you can be the nicest teenager, but if you dress like the hood and stuff like that and you coming towards me, the first thing I'm going to think about is, what are you going to do? Is he going to try to attack me? Oh, my God, I'm going to have to beat him down. You know, there's a lot of stuff that, and it's because of what the kids are doing. So what are we doing to save these generation? Because... The 70s and the 80 kids, uh, what they call the baby boomers or whatever, they okay. We're adults now. And then you got these sissy millennium people that want to cry for every little thing. And, and now you got these new kids. I don't know what they're going to call them now, but they're doing worse things. Look, the kids a couple of weeks ago throwing eggs at people, at uh, Jewish people in Brooklyn. Uh, the first ones were hitting Jewish. So now you're making a racist war. And you don't want to make that war, but that's what's happening nowadays. And, I, you know, you know me, I don't really like to bring the sad news and the bad news, but this is getting to me. I've been watching the news, and I shouldn't have done it, and I'm listening to all these things that are happening. And then, you know, I hang out with the uh, cops and everything, and they, they were telling me it's getting, it's getting bad. It's even getting bad with the bikers in um, Hud's Point, the bikers everywhere else, throwing things at cops. What are y'all doing? We're going to talk about that a little bit more because I, I, I can't talk about that by myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm so hyped that I'll just take the whole show and talk. So I got to bring somebody body in just like me that I don't really sleep. Right? So he was like, wait a minute, Charles don't sleep. I'm going to use that name. <laughs> Team No Sleep is here today. So, uh, you know, we're going to talk to him for a little bit as well when we come back from this break. Hello and welcome back to the LDM show. And like I said, you know, we're going to be having a good talk today for the hour. But I had to bring my, my boy Lou here from Team No Sleep. That's He's right. in the house. So, you know, how you doing? How you doing? Hey, you know, I told you I was going to get to my show one day. You know, it's just like so many people booking to be here. It's like uh, I had to try to squeeze them in. I'm like, nah, I got to squeeze them in. I appreciate it. You've that. been doing so much. Uh, appreciate it. Events and everything. It's like, going crazy but uh let, before we get into the whole news conversation let's talk about you a little bit how did you get into this and why the name team no sleep um the thing with me that i just i love to support i love to support and it's, and it's from the bottom of my heart and usually my friends they will they will like talk to me and say louis you don't sleep mm. you know so if i'm going to one place to another and then supporting these, these, these organizations, they said, Louis, you don't sleep. <laughs> so my friend Anthony Madera, big shout out to Tony, he says, Louis, you could you know, make these shirts and sell them at your barbecue. Because mm. I do them on barbecue every year. Right. So I said, you know what? I'm going to do it. 
And like I said, I just love to support, man. It's just all about supporting one another. I love to support, help, no and uplift. Sleep was born from there. Yeah, right? and that's it. And, and when, when, did you, when did you start the uh, the idea? Because I well, know there's I, always an idea first before you even come out with it. Well, actually, um, it was last year, and it's funny because when I was at the cancer walk, uh, I was supporting Soli Padilla. Big shout out to Soli Padilla, and um, she reached out to me and then she told me to help her out, and I said, "Sure, you know." Again, Tino says so I'm going to be there. <laughs> It's hard for me to say um, no, but um, I saw The Essence. Big mm -hmm. shout out to The Essence. And she says, Louis, you remember when you was talking to me and you were talking to me about Team No Sleep? And I said, yeah. And I said, but you didn't have Team No Sleep. You didn't have it out there. Mm -hmm. And look at you now. And I even forgot about that because she was like, I was like, wow, you're right. I was like, you know. God is good, man. Hey, it happens. God is good. Especially uh, when you put the idea. Yeah. Like, if you have the idea. Because some people have an idea, and they just don't do it. They're just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And then they go 70 years old in, in the home talking about, I should have done this. I should, You know what I'm saying? Right. So, at least you had the idea, you went out with it, and you did it. So and, you know. and, and the reason on um, Charles' is Team No Sleep is not that I just um, support that particular organization. Mm. I support almost every organization there is, you know, on a consistent basis. Mm. You know, from American Cancer Society, big shout out to Jose Rivera. Yeah. Domestic violence, big shout out to Tania Carrion. Mm -hmm. um, we're talking about, I was there for food drives, toy drives, big shout out to um, Earthly Angels Warriors, Victoria Warriors, Angels mm -hmm. to the Rescue, when they were Casper's Angels, big shout out to Annette de Jesus, mm -hmm. um, Luna, and... Foxy family, big shout out to Evelyn Torres. You know, so I was all over the place, and I do it from the bottom of my heart. You know, I've done also relief efforts for Puerto Rico. Mm. You know, and it's funny because when I was uh, in Manhattan, I did a, we was fighting for, you know, what, what's going on in Manhattan, I mean, in Puerto Rico. So we went to court, I went to court in the morning, then I met some powerful people. Right. You know, we're talking about Jay, Nicole, Judy, Lila. Big shout out to all these people, and I was like, "Wow!" So then they, would reach, they reached out to me. And they told me, "Let's do a fundraiser for Puerto Rico." Right. So we did a fundraiser at Lorraine's. Mm. Then after that, I did a mission in Puerto Rico, from April 28 to uh, no, I'm sorry, March 28 to April uh, 2nd. Second. You know, at mm. Baja Playa, Añasco, Puerto Rico. So big shout out to Team Playa, man. Yeah. I love you guys. So all, all these For the year of being a media, and first of all, shout outs to a Puerto Rican that's going to court that don't have to be there. That's the first thing. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 we wasn't criminals or nothing, we just wanted to go over there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, these people that he was mentioning, they have little organizations out there, uh, you know, we the LDM um, support some as well, and we do a lot of the bullying. Um, stopping the bullying and stuff like that. And for you guys that don't know, we're uh, we do the domestic violence with Tanya as well. Um, and watch out, we actually are doing a commercial uh, for um, Safe Horizon. Okay. For Safe Horizon, New York City's um, company where they help bullying and everything. So the LDM show is uh, they ask us nice. to do a commercial nice. for them. Nice. So that should be within. If it didn't already came out uh, when you're watching this, but it should be within the, this month. Okay. So Great. that's nice. It's a, it's a good thing that as uh, Latinos that we continue doing something like this. Because mm -hmm. uh, I, I think, like, you know, the whole conversation today is basically about business and where, where we go from here. And I think that you have the opportunity to, instead of saying, you know what, I'm just going to sit back, collect. As a businessman, and you know, right. no, but you you're giving back. That's right. And a lot of people don't understand that it's not about building a, a new building in your community, or you're making it rich, and you want to do. It's about what you do with your time and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. and you have to do it from your heart, man. Oh yeah, you have to yeah. do it from your heart. Yeah, you. Lesson number one, I always say, if you don't do anything from your heart, and you do it like, oh. Let me help this one because he's going to help me later right. on. Right. It's no. not going to work. Yeah. It's never going to work. Yeah. Uh, you join the organization because you love it. 
And I joined like Tanya Carrion. Um, I helped Annette de Jesus and all of them. And I figured they already started. So if I can get in there and, and help a little of them to be pushed even more, right. then, then that's great. And that's what's happening. And yeah. I appreciate that because, you know, you, you acknowledge people, man. You oh, know what I'm yeah. saying? And, and you do it from your heart, too, and you're, you're a good man, and I appreciate yeah, that. Thank you, thank you. I, I, I try my best. I love this, what I do, and I love to see the people smiling. And when I see you guys walking, and I'm like, yeah, I know this guy. You know, I know this one. I know. You know, so it makes me happy that they, uh, you know, we have platforms like this that right. push it over. So, you know, we're going to... Con- continue getting awards and we're going to continue pushing and pushing uh as much as possible so and to reach more people i guess mm-hmm. so but now um first of all where can they get gears like this um you could um order with me and also uh, you could uh go to my the website www.teamnosleep.nyc Mm. Oh, ooh, he, he fancy. He got the <laughs> NYC. I thought you were going to say NYC.gov. <laughs> um, you know, it sounds better. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But, um, yeah, you could go there, or if not, you could order with me, and I'll be glad to help. Um, just let me know. Keep me posted, and I'll be there. I also deliver, too. Um, and it's on your Facebook as well? It's on Facebook and also on, on Instagram. Um, Instagram, um, um, Lou Rock underscore 50, and then on Facebook, I'm Lou Rock. Uh, yeah. And the reason the name Blue Rock because uh, I go way back, wow, 183rd days, man, Rocksteady days <laughs> in the 80s. Big shout out to Rocksteady, Hoffy yeah. Rockers, Flex, Spanky. Oh, man, I, I remember, uh, yeah, especially where we're at right now, I remember this used to be like gang related. Uh, and I'm not talking about gangs like now, you know, right, they want right. to chop up gang. Right. I'm talking about the guys that had the best and they used to chill. Like, you had a little group, yeah. little posses, yeah. you know? <laughs> And they used to um, break dance and do all this stuff here, and everyone respect each, each other's corners. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, LL Cool J, shout out to him, you know, because yeah. my brother used to roll with them. Um, even though African Barbada did some stuff that people don't yeah. mention, but allegedly. allegedly. Yeah, allegedly but uh, right. African yeah. Barbada, you know, I knew them when I was young because of my brother, you know, roll with them. And it's just a, a good thing to see that and then that we push as well. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we're going to continue pushing. But, guys, Team No Sleep, check them out. Um, you know, they do a lot for the organizations yeah. and stuff like that. So every time you wear products from either us or Team No Sleep or anybody else, you're showing that you support that person. Um, so it's not about, you know, like, support people that are supporting others because right. Hill Figure, all these other names that I don't really want to name are not helping communities, but you're spending money on them. That's right. That doesn't make yeah. no sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, check up the company and see what they're doing before you buy. Mm-hmm. Don't buy because your friend brought. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's with pride, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of, uh, of companies that you wear the clothes and you know, mm-hmm. now you got to have nice clothes. I'm not telling y'all companies just smack a logo and think it's all good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, shout out to you guys for having cl- uh, yeah. and, the lines and, and stuff like and, that. And, and you know what, Charles? The thing is that when when I put it out there on Facebook, you know, it's not like a like a gang or crew. You know, I, I, I have a group of guys. Like, I still have a strong team. Mm. Despite that, you know, I have, I have still so many friends, but... You know, ever since, you know, this Team No Sleep thing, you know, it's like yeah. a lot of enemies, a lot of people talking oh, BS. Yeah. Well, we're going to talk about and, that, too. And, and, you know, I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? Because people that know me, Louie, you know, I'm out there and I support everybody. Mm. And I do it from my heart. You know what I'm saying? It's not like I don't expect, you know, what I spend on these people. I don't expect that back. You know, just, hey, Louie, man, folks. come down, man. Let me buy a shirt. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, it's crazy because, you know, I have people say, oh, Louis, don't entertain. No, it's not that. It's just, it's, it gives me that extra incentive, man, that, that motivation to succeed higher. And it gets me stronger. Well, he, he, he's talking a lot of passion right now. Yeah. So I'm going to have to stop him. So when we come back, we're going to be talking about this. Uh, we're going to come back with a uh, conversation about how to continue with business, even if you're having the haters approach. So, you know, we'll be right back.
Hello and welcome back to the LDM show. And again, I'm here with Lou from Team No Sleep. And uh, again, go to the website, uh, social media and everything. You'll see it in the bottom of the, of the video. Go down and support. Basically, got to say. And also, uh, for our, um, any of our closing lines, our materials and all that, go to ldmnetwork.net slash store. And you see all the stuff that we sell. Even people that are not ours are on our page. So, right, right. you know, we put other people. And the reason why I'm saying that we put other people is because of the topic we're going to talk about. Have you ever started a company and then have people try to destroy it? What do you do? Right. Well, I'm here to try to help people like that. And uh, Lou has the same issue. And I'm hopefully he learned something if I can help him out. But... Uh, you, if you grow, you're going to have haters. You're going to have people to knock you down. Uh, you're going to have friends that, let's say, I don't care if I'm selling pencils. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then all of a sudden your friend comes, yo, I brought these 10-pack of pencils down the block. I'm like, but you're my boy, and you didn't come and buy pencils from me. You're going to have that a lot. Yeah. Um, and that's, I don't understand that. You don't see that happening in the Asian community, the, uh, the Iraqi community, the Jewish, you know, mm -hmm. they all buy from each other and they all support each other. Mm -hmm. And that's the, the main Latin thing. And the black people, we, we can't do that. Mm -hmm. And that's the problem. And you're going to have that a lot as well. well I'm, uh, having, I'm having it now, man. You're, you're having that, that issue, right? Yeah, I'm having it now. It, it happens. It's a, it's a shame because, you know, before Team No Sleep, you know, I'm humble Louie. Right. After Team No Sleep, I'm still humble, Louis. Mm -hmm. I never, I'm not going to change. And I, I appreciate my friends. Um, big shout out to Angel, Angelo, Maze, Muggs, Pack Leader, Big A. Like these guys, like they really happy for me and they support me. Mm. You know, so it's all about supporting one another. Mm. You know, and the thing is that I got a couple of friends that reached out to other people and they say, hey, I got. You know, gentlemen, by the name of Louis Team No Sleep, right. let's see what you could do. But to no avail. You know what I'm saying? So, for example, Charles, if if I was to be up there, man, and make it big, which I know I am, and I'm leaving everything in God's hands. Right. If somebody was to come from the street and he has that same hunger mm -hmm. and says, Louis, I want you to help me, I'm going to help him. Yeah. I'm going to help him. It, it, and even uh, if he gets, if he goes higher, like if he becomes more... You know, more, how can you say, uh, like, he'll make more money than me. I yeah, don't yeah. care. His, I'm his just happy that bigger. his success, yeah. that's why I'm team no sleep. I forgot to tell you this, that once I see people that are happy, that's it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy, man. Yeah, which is the good thing. Um, like, I don't like to really say myself, but I push a lot of stuff. Like, I do a lot of different shows now. We just started a couple of weeks ago a new LGBT talk show. Nice. Um, I'm a straight guy. Yeah, I, I, I think I am. Well, I'm not sh straight, straight. You know, I, I, I curve my, my fist like this sometimes. I slap a couple people. But uh, <laughs> um, I always say be 10 steps ahead in business. Yeah. That's one thing. I'm always, I hear the people, oh, I'm always a step ahead. That's your problem. You're only one step ahead. Right. Remember, you go one step forward and two steps back. So if you're only one step forward be, uh, be in front of that person, now you're going to wind up behind that person. So I always try to be 10 steps in front with companies, business, right, and everything right. else. So I pretty much team no sleep now, you know, because I don't really sleep. I'm like, I sit right. down and I hit an idea. I'm sitting in the, in the sofa like, okay, I can do this. I can do that. I can, mm -hmm. you know, I want to get new equipment. I want to do this because I'm thinking ahead. Mm -hmm. A lot of people think, you bougie because of it. Right. You don't want to hang somewhere. You bougie. Uh, as, especially as owners, as ourselves, we can't be in every single club. That's right. We can't yes. be in every single party. Yeah. Because if something happens right. and we get destroyed, everything right. else goes down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can be in a party and they have drugs or something and now they raided the whole place and now they're going to say yeah. Charles does drugs and sells. That's where he gets his money from. Now everything falls down. So it's not that we bougie or we're not trying to help or something. It's just sometimes we can't. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, celebrity status type of thing. You can't do everything because they're going to be like, ooh, 
and I watch. Like, there's no one on my show that uh, doing no good, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, I watch you guys. Okay, I got to bring them up. I got to push them more. I got to give them a platform that's to good, talk man. about it. That's so good. that's why I was like, yo, Lou, I need you, I get, when are you going to come on my show? I kept saying, when are you going to come on my show? I'm going to bring you on my show. Watch. And, you know, I appreciate that, man. Thank you for having hey, me. Hey, anytime. You know, I thought you were going to bring some team. I was like, bring the whole team. I don't care. <laughs> you know, I, I, you know, as a matter of fact, um, big shout out to James Jones, a show called The Game Changes. Um, he told me, Lou, you could bring like two or three guys. Yeah. And so I invited, you know, Angel, right, right, right. Angelo, Pac, Maze, Muggs, Tone. Like, you know, I told him, I, I, I text him, um, James, James Jones, and I told him, oh, I'm bringing my boys. boys. <laughs> and it's crazy because they thought they were there to take pictures. Right. But they wanted to show, too. Yeah, we and, did. And they were talking yeah. about their powerful, it was powerful, you know, they were right, talking right. about their testimony, man, and that was, that was, that was deep. Yeah, it, it happens. So I wanted to acknowledge them because I'm all, I love to acknowledge people. You've seen it on Facebook and Instagram. Big shout out to this person, that person. You know, big shout out to Bernadette Green. She's the one that did this hood. It's glitter. It's, it's, it's crazy. You, you you don't see that out here, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? And big shout out to Bernadette Green. Super dope. You know, they've done stuff for me too. Sonny, big shout out to Sonny. Embroidery Kings. See, yeah. He, he, matter of fact, he's on uh, Morris Avenue, right? No, no. Um, um, I believe like Melrose. Melrose. Mer 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 yeah. 156 or I think yeah. 158th Street, I believe. Yeah, because he's right next to my grandma. Yeah. Hey. As a matter of fact, Charles, he's the one that did the, um, these hats, too. He did the, uh -huh, yeah, the okay. B boy. Yeah, so yeah. big shout out to Embroidery Kings. Yeah, he's he's uh, complaining to me. Um, Candelo, that's right. Can Candela. Candela hangs out with him. And he was like, yo, Embroidery Greens was complaining that you said you were going to come by and you never came by. I was like, I'm busy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. I try to run by, but he's cool people. Uh, you know, stuff that. Cause he's supposed to be doing some of my embroideries because I can't do the embroideries. Right. I won't pay for that machine. <laughs> yeah, wow. Well, yeah, I know. You know, the sometimes you got to out yeah. yeah. Oh, that's the, yo, yeah. that's the most expensive thing is the yeah. embroidery machines. Yeah. Right? I can get the silk machines and all that, but the embroideries are very yeah. expensive. Yeah. So, shout out to these guys who have them. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, in business, you're going to have those people that want to support and people that want to support because... Everybody else is supporting. Mm -hmm. Not because they care, you know. Those are the ones that, I guess, if you biblical, you'd be like the uh, um, sheep in um, the f fox and sheep closing or something like that. They, something say, like that. they say those are the, the false prophets. <laughs> you're going to get a lot of those yeah. um, because you're, you're growing. If yeah. you don't get them, then you're not growing. You're yeah. going to get a lot of people that just want to follow for the heck yeah. of it. Um, and be like, hey, Lou, you know, I'll, I'll go with you. I'll go with you. And then when they come, they're the only person. They'll be like, huh. Right. I got to do something. Are we going to be here long? Because they're only by themselves. So mm -hmm. they don't really care for a sleep, um, team no sleep. Mm -hmm. They just want to be in the photo or something mm -hmm. like that. You know, because you can imagine, hey, I'm going to be on the LDM show. Yeah. Everybody will be coming. Right. Come running. You know what I'm saying? So uh, just to be that five minute of fame. Mm -hmm. So they don't really support. But uh, how are you reacting with something like that? Or how are you taking it? Um, it it's crazy because um, I'm still like kind of like a rookie. Right. I'm still hands-on, on-the-job training. So I'm learning. And it's crazy because back then, like I was trying to reach out to certain people, and um, they wouldn't actually acknowledge me. So I had to like, you know, take a lot of losses and stuff as far as putting my brand out. Right. And I had to do it to put my brand out so people could know Tino Sleep is here. Right, right. So I had to go through that route. And like I said, you know, you live and learn. But I'm still, I'm still a rookie, and um, I'm trying to associate, you know, myself with the right people, which I think I am now. And um, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm just here to support. And it's crazy when people say, oh, Louis, you... You're moving up fast. And, um, and I told him, you know, I knew this was going to happen. I knew this was going to happen. You, you have to uh, push fast. But it, second thing, if you guys want to open up a business, you have to learn how to separate friends and business. Yeah. Because uh, 
me and my wife, we work together. She's, you know, like uh, president of the company and everything. And she does my, uh, what I call my pimp. Because she, she sends me to all the events and, you know, and she books me here, books me there. That's, we are business there. Right. When we come home, now we husband and wife. Right. So that it's a separate, right. separate thing. We can argue about business. I'm like, no, I don't want to do it this way. It's going to have to be this way. No, 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 no. And then when we get home, it's like, yeah, it's a different story. Man, wasn't y'all just... arguing over at, no, that we were arguing about business. Right. This is personal. This is nothing to do with business. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know how to separate that, especially when it comes with friends. Some friends come in, oh, yo, can I do this? Oh, give me a discount. I'm like, mm, okay, I'll give you a discount. Right. Like, right. A dollar. Like, damn, a dollar. This is business. Right. This has nothing to do with uh, with uh, any friendship around there. Because if your business falls, you know, they're going to be there to help you out. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to happen that way. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing you have to le learn. I know it's hard because a lot of friends are, are there. You're going to get, you know, and I'm speaking experience. Uh, I did, I've been doing this business, and as soon as I said to myself these rules... Mm -hmm. My business just grew completely up. I won multiple awards and continuing, nice. you know, wind up with my own network. Now we're moving on up to other stages of, of the company. So there are things to do because of the rules. Uh, and I, you know, and I, like, like I said, God is good, man. And, I, and, yeah. and I'm happy for you, man, because you're a great man. Well, you know? I try to be as, but like you said, you be a nice guy and people will think you just stuck up. Mm-hmm. Be like, oh, please, please. And there'll be people that will try, there have been people that try to use me, but since I'm 10 steps ahead, I've been watching right. them, and then they wind up falling because they try to use me. And the thing is that, you know, you've been around longer, you know, so me, I'm kind of like a rookie, so I'm, I'm, I'm still learning. Sponge it. But the thing is, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I feel good because I'm around positive people, so then, you know, we could get to, um, it's like, for example, when they do the shirts, right, mm -hmm. and we talk about it, we have each other's input. It's not all about me. Right, right, right. I right. just put the pride and the ego to the side. And if you say, Louie, I think this is better, I'm like, wow, that's good. It's okay, so let's go with that. Yeah, yeah. And I do that with all the embroidery um, companies and stuff. You know, yeah, we, all, uh, we uh, have uh, each other's input, and that's what I like. And that, that's the one good thing about it is always sitting down. You know, yeah, you have the last word, of course, but the input, taking the right. input is always the greatness of it, you know. You're going to have those guys. You're going to have people, when you're growing mm -hmm. as big, come in and say, oh, team no sleep. I see, I see. Why are you tell me you're in business? Let's do something together. Really? You didn't see me out there? Right. You didn't see me there? Right. You're going to have those people, like those mm -hmm. fake people. Uh, you know, and shout outs to uh, the Coco Master, Miss Rose Cologne. Who has shout out to Rose Cologne? Man. Yeah, who has um, hired our company to be her business um, consultant. Nice and uh, her marketing. And since then, she, her husband, told me the other day. He was like, "Yo, Charles, thank you. Within this one month that you've been helping us, our business grew." And that says a lot about you. I was like, "Wow, I didn't even expect it." And she was like, "Everything you told me not to do and to start doing, mm -hmm. I did it. It started working." Within that one month, and they're already making their um, moves. I got them new nice. products, you know, because I'm like, I look at them, I'm like, okay, I think you need to do this, this, and this. So you maybe know, as a business manager. Then you maybe know. we could talk, man, you know? That's what our company does. Uh, I told many people, I was a criminal analyst, so I sit there and I analyze criminals for a living, and now I'm just doing business for a living. You know, I'm like, oh, I can right. do this, I can do that. Uh, I always say there's people with money, like rich people, with no mm -hmm. ideas. Right. And then there's people with ideas with no money. So putting those two people together works out. But you're going to have that. Yeah. Two tears in a bucket and I say, F it. I don't want to say the word, but mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, I know, I know it's emotional sometimes. Like, ah, now this guy don't want to talk to me. Okay. I'm still, yeah, I'm still the same person. I, yeah. I, like I said, like, and you're right, as far as like going to, you know, these lounges and stuff, you know, you know, I, I now I have to, like, pick my places and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and usually I have to go to these lounges that they accept hat. Because yeah. I'm a hat freak. Uh oh. So that's what I'm saying. You know, I, the other, these restaurant lounges, they're like, oh, why Louis doesn't? It's because I'm a hat freak. You know, using these lounges, 
they don't accept hats. Hats. Yeah. And I'm a hat freak. And I have hair, but I don't care if I lose it. It's just, I have to wear hats. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, you lose your hair if you keep wearing those hats and stuff. But uh, we're going to take another break. When we come back, we're going to talk about the youth today. Uh, how are we going to try to help them? And what are they doing now that is destroying the, I guess, the the level of what we were knocking down with racism and prejudice. Now it's going right back up. We'll be right back here. This is the LDM Show, and this is Team No Sleep. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back. This is the LDM Show and I'm with my boy Lou from Team No Sleep. And we, you know, we've just been shooting the breeze and trying to help out. We were trying to help out in a little bit of business. And again, uh, the LDM Network, we, we consider ourselves the, uh, what, what was our logo again? The <laughs> one-stop shop. The one-stop shop. Your, your place for everything. Um, we, we just did a new slogan. So I was like, I was trying to remember the slogan. <laughs> Nice. But we we take care of everything you need. Uh, I, I I always make jokes um, in the meeting we had with one of my friends. I don't know, remember Living Color? Mm-hmm. Uh, who was it? Um, what was her name? Jamie Foxx with the big lips that he used to play the girl. Um, 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 uh, Not Shanae. Shanae is Martin, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. Shanae is Martin. But anyway, Jamie Foxx played the girl with the big lips, and uh, this guy every time he looked for an excuse. He's like, uh, no, I got to go. My car got no oil. He was like, I got you. I got you with the big lips. She took out the oil. He was like, oh, no, but my, my car uses the other one. Oh, domestic? I got that, too. So I always say that's what LDM is. LDM network is okay. I got you no matter what. And the word network, because a lot of people don't know, LDM network is I'm not doing it myself. If there's a person that's around there, like a DJ or something. You need a DJ? Boom, I got... Now I go and I call a DJ and I say, hey, I got this job for you. Okay. So I'm spreading the, the, the jobs out there. And that's, that's nice, what the man. network is all about, is spreading the jobs or uh, you need closing lines. Hey, check out this guy's closing line. This one, pick what you want, you know. And we work in that way, in that sense of the matter. And that's what network is about, networking with everyone else. Mm-hmm. It's not just me. Uh, I have actually two companies now that do my printing. Uh, and again, if someone says they have the LDM collection, check the back of their collar. If it doesn't say LDM collection on it, it's not a, a authentic. That, that was the one that they made in Chinatown. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know you made it when you saw, when they saw <laughs> getting the, the fake LDM. <laughs> Like Chinese people. Hey, hey. You know what I'm saying? Well, I saw I seen LDM collection outfits out there, you know. And, uh, you know, shout outs to Little Lex. She has um, her collection, all the, the design that she has, that was um, from us. We designed mm. all oh, her oh, logos. Okay. Nice. Everything that she has, we designed it. We designed logos, websites, and all that. Oh, wow. Okay. So I designed something for her, and she uses the leggings. She uses a lot of stuff now. Nice. Um, and that's part of the LDM collection. And it's the same thing with the networking. But the reason why I bring out little Lex is because of the kids. Uh, I don't know if you've been watching the news where kids are throwing eggs at Jewish people. The, what was it, last year or something? They were doing the punching game. Yeah. Like punching. Matter of fact, punching. last uh, uh, a month ago, this guy punched a Jewish old, le- uh, old man. And then they punched the Spanish. That's when, you, that's when I say, oh, wait a minute, papi. <laughs> the Spanish came out of me. When I seen that, I was like, oh. What's going on here? They hitting old people. It's like there's no respect for the elders no more. Yeah. Uh, uh, how, how, since you support a lot of stuff, how do you see yourself trying to help? Or what, what do you expect the government? Because let's, 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 let's put it out there. The government needs to help us, um, especially with programs, with teenage programs that we have. Yeah, they should have. They, they should have more. Busy. Yeah, they should have more recreational facilities, and they should have more parks, and then. You know, we construct these parks and make them new, like upgrade these parks. Yeah, they uh, upgrading the parks. I don't know, honestly. But I'm saying they should they should just like actually build more parks. Yeah, they, you know? the parks is okay, but building a park and just say go. 
It's not nothing. You see how that pause was? Like, hey, part, go. That's it. Not, that means I'm not dealing with you mm -hmm. no more. I think but they, they need... But these politicians, they should just think about the kids. Right. If yeah. they're going to build a park, let's do stuff in the park. Right. Let's have events in the park. Let's do these stuff in the park. Um, Put, like, competitions where kids... But this... I remember double dutch competition, handball competition. Mm -hmm. I remember all these stuff that now it's like... You're right. Oh, after school programs. They used to have after school programs in the park. Um, where in the summertime there was after school programs. There was not... It was... Well, there was summer school for the ones that failed. But um, there was, uh, like, at, um, summer programs where they take you to the park and they have fun. And you see the park full of kids double dutching, doing all this. Now, it's like we got empty parks for what? You know what I'm saying? To look fancy in the building. We, we need more uh, because the kids got nothing to do. Right. Like, is that they're giving out these money to, to um, these foreign countries, man, when they should just think about home and... We we suffering, man. You know, and I think like like they should have more recreational facilities right, and yeah. you know after school programs, and, and they're cutting a lot of out of that uh, as well. So they shouldn't be doing that. You know what I'm saying? Because they keep the kids off the streets, man. Yeah, they cut what well, uh, music? Why? Come on, yeah. y'all cut music out of school. What's next? PE? You're gonna cut PE off? Like, you know, music was a good thing. They, people that were in the bands. Mm -hmm. I, I, I've been watching parades, and I'm like, wow, there ain't that many bands left. No, you know, high school bands. And it's because they cut the music programs mm -hmm. off. Uh, they cut the after-school baseballs and stuff like that. It's like, so what are we giving our kids? Yeah. You know, so now they're angry, and they're going around, and then you have these people filling their heads up with this racism and, and hatred, and they hating on the people that are making it. Mm -hmm. So they now they're attacking the Jews and beating them up. Ah, this this is part of Speak Out. This is where I get a little teed off. That's a, a cheap plug. You can watch speak um, listen to Speak Out on Fridays on the LDM radio. You guys are hitting the Jewish, hitting hitting old people because you're pissed off because they have what you don't have. So wouldn't you just use that energy and get what they have in a positive way? Because mm -hmm. they work. The Jewish are the way they are because they help each other. So what about if the blacks and Spanish start helping each other? And we get that? If we do that, we'll be a force. We, we'll that's a, a lot of us to be right reckoned now. with, man. You know what I'm saying? You, we just need to be, um, get together. That's all. And we just to make a difference. That's, that's what we need to do. Yeah. We just support one another. Just forget about the pride and the ego, man. Just get together. Yeah, and I don't mean to drink. You know, he ain't, right. he ain't talking about that. He ain't, you know. And I don't, I'm not a drinker, so I'm yeah, like, I don't oh. drink either. But uh, you know, like if, every time you say, "Oh, let's get together," what are you gonna have? Are you having food there? No, no. we're just gonna get together. Right. and We're gonna work this. You know what I'm saying? It don't have to be nothing free. It's you crazy, know. Charles, because uh, and I'm sorry to interrupt. No, 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 go. You go know, on. when I go to these restaurant lounges, you know, the owners and, and my friends, say, hey, Louis, what you want to drink, man? Because they see me going to these lounges. Right, right. I have a Corona. Really? Yeah. They expect. Long Island iced tea. tea. You know, I'm not a drinker. They say, like, give me a Hennessy, two so shots, not, no ice, bro. Yeah. Just, I'm straight, bro. Well, I'm a dog into that. Yeah, but I'm not, a, I'm not a drinker, you know. I, just, I don't drink at all. Yeah, just a couple never. of beers, but I'm not a drinker. People that know me, I'm not, right, I'm right. not a drinker. I don't do drugs, mm -hmm. so, you know, I don't really See, do and that, that's hard, because every time I said, I don't drink, I never did drugs, never smoked, no. That's the face they put. That's right. Really? You're Spanish. And what the hell they got to do with anything? Man, stereotype, man. You know what I'm saying? Break the stereotype, you know. Mm -hmm. But we, I don't know, I, I guess we need to figure out, as a community, what we're going to do with these kids. But you know what? Um, also, it goes back to um, home. You know, the, the, these parents, they have to actually discipline their kids and be there for their kids. But that's the problem. I'm saying? Their and kids themselves. Because there's, right. And we got a lot, of, a lot of teenagers that are having kids now. Yeah, back in the days, there were 16, 17-year-olds, but they were mature. Now you have these 16, 17-year-olds that are talking about, uh, I'm a club it. Where's your kid? At home. Right. How old was your kid? One. But You're the thing is that I have friends that uh, actually they say, Louis, I don't know when was the last time mom or dad said I love you. You know? That's true. So then the thing is that then when they have kids, they don't say it. They're going to do the same thing. So it's like a, it's the same cycles. You got to break that cycle, you know, and just be there for your kids, you know, and just 
just be there, man, and quality time and spend time and get to really actually hear them talk. You got to hear them talk, listen to them. You got to oh listen to God. them. Oh, my God. Because usually they'll cut them off and they'll be like, oh, no, but you did this, you did that. No. You know, you got to listen to them. You got to listen to the kids. Oh, yeah. It's keep them in the positive. You know, I always say, like you just said a, a while ago, you keep yourself in the positive um, mm-hmm. circle. The same thing with the kids. Mm-hmm. Keep them in the positive circle. Uh, my child is with me every place I go, even when I'm working in events and stuff like that. God bless him. And he knows about the computers. He knows the mics. He put the mics on. He oh, does everything. God he does the him. cameras. And he's only three years old. God he, bless him. He speaks three different languages. Um, you, nice. So these are the things that we do, like pushing, pushing him to do. Even if we don't have time, we have five minutes, we'll take that five minutes. Right. You know, um, we have a movie night every single week. Yeah, we have to spend quality time. time. Quality time. It's not all about business sometimes. You have to take that one moment to say, let me take a day or something without, and without phones or nothing like that. Because I see people, oh yeah, I did family day. Yeah, I know. You posted it all over Facebook. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm right here taking with my kid. I'm over here in the train. I'm over in the bus. I'm Like, when did you drop the phone to mm-hmm. really spend time with your child? Mm-hmm. And a lot of, you know, there's very few that know that I, used to, I was a mom and a dad. Woof. Yeah, it's a good I raised, one. I raised my daughter, and it's crazy. Big shout out to Destiny. Mm-hmm. I love you, Joshi and Javian. You know, mm-hmm. actually, you know, Charles. You know, she was the one that actually was pushing me because she's the CEO. Right. You know what I'm saying? And big she shout out to you, baby. And I love you. You know, That's and great, like I said, with her, you know, I was saying to myself because I was from the streets. I'm, you know, you don't have to do 10, 15, 20 year business. I was one of the fortunate ones. That. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, when when. When I was 18, I got shot in my left eye. Oh, so that's why he was like, you know, so I was still doing bad things. And, you know, but the thing is that once I had my daughter, that's when I said to myself, Louis, you know, you have to be there for your daughter. So I was a high school dropout. Mm. I accumulated 19 credits, Charles, in five regions to get my diploma. Woo! Okay? Mm, And, mm, mm. And there were actually... You know, kind of like um, telling me, oh, Louis, you need this credit here, this credit there. They, Charles, they found my, they said, Louis, we, we, there's no proof that you took your, your, your English exam. They found wow. it seven months later in the English department. <laughs> so I never gave up because of my daughter. daughter. And I was supposed to actually get my diploma like in two years. Never gave up. And I got my diploma in six years, man. Wow. Because of my daughter. <laughs> then after that, the rest. Which, which is good. I, I like that. There's people out there that were like, I do everything for my kids. But you didn't stop hanging out. Right. You didn't stop wilding out. You, you, you know, I, I see some of these mothers that they be in the street. Oh, no, baby boy, I'll tell you. And they be getting all this. I'm like, and you're talking about you're doing everything for your mother, but you're out right. there screaming and yelling. And the, and the thing is that you see them, you know, with, with two, three, four hundred dollar shoes and Three thousand dollar purses, and then you see their kids, kids all like they look like bombs. Mm-hmm. I can't. I, I. That's why I made so many sacrifices. I. Yeah. I couldn't do that. Uh, Everything was just for my daughter during that time. Which that's too, and then also I've I've been seeing kids that are, are dressed up with two thousand, hundred dollar shoes, fifty dollar thing, and I'm looking at them like, listen, you live in the ghetto, in the ghetto, you you live in a housing project, and the kid is one years old. And you bring him $50, $60 sneakers for next week, it won't fit him. Yeah. Just because you're trying to look good in front of everybody else. And But that's the problem, Charles, that, that's kid that when, you, when you buy $200, $300 uh, you know, stuff for the kids, but it doesn't mean that you're there. You have to be there for your kid. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Especially if they're not there, then okay, here, hey, uh, son or daughter, here's $300. Mm-hmm. Okay, dad, but you're not disciplined. you got to discipline them. you got to be there for them. Yeah. Wanna, I, I'm not saying don't spend it, but my kid, I never brought him no $50 sneakers. You, you won't get $50 sneakers when you're an adult or, mm-hmm. or older. But mm-hmm. when you're young, I'll buy you a $10 sneaker, and then I'll take that $40 and put it away. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's how you're helping your child, not by spending $50 sneakers on him and going out. We, we went out many places because people be like, God, oh, Charles, you travel all the time. Yeah, and it only cost me like 40 bucks. 50 bucks. I take mm-hmm. a train, go somewhere. We buy sandwiches. Mm-hmm. You know, we try to do it for everything that's free. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we have fun that way. Uh, you know, yeah, we could spend a little money here and there, but 
and, and that was back, and that was back then that it was hard. Look at the cost of living now. Now, you know, so we have to save. You're gonna, yeah, you definitely have crazy. to save now. Uh, raising a kid is not, and when you have kids, raising kids, so it, it's it's hard nowadays. But again, we know, and the government knows the issue. Mm-hmm. Now we know the issue. Why are no one finding solutions? This is what I'm talking about. You could. You can sit and talk about it. Hey, this guy is being a little pain in the butt. Why is this kid always sitting down by himself in the afternoon? Well, maybe talk to the parent. The parent's not home. Maybe you want to bring him inside your house and, you know, get to know the parent and stuff like that. Solutions are always a right. uh, thing. Our solution is to try to get platforms like this to push out the issue. Mm-hmm. So maybe someone listens and hears the show and be like, I got to help team no sleep a little bit more. I got to help this. I got to help. Because they're listening on platforms like this. That's my thing that I figure I can do. You know, get platforms out. The government needs to help. Mm-hmm. You know. But uh, I'm sorry. I'm one of those guys that they say, oh, you shouldn't hit the kids that try to attack you. I'm going to beat the crap out of you you try to attack me. I'm sorry to say it. I'm sorry to say it. My martial arts and everything will come. I'll be feeling like I'm in the gym all over again. You know what I'm saying? Because of that reason. Because if you want to act like you're a man in the streets hitting and knocking out little old men that can't protect themselves, that doesn't make you a man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you want to gang up on someone, that doesn't make you a man. You know? What makes you a man? Not not giving your child money. Like, you you want $100? All right, let's go shop. Take that time to shop with that and you person. you got to show them, like, the value of a dollar. dollar. You can't just actually just say, Here, here's some, here's $300, buy whatever you want. That, that's what they do with the uh, tablets, with the phones. Yeah. My son has a tablet. He uses it every day, but it's all educational stuff. A couple of movies that we didn't even know how he knew how to do it. <laughs> you know, right. he downloaded some of his cartoon movies. But we put a two, a three-year-old limit. You right. know, like, you can't pass it. There's no privacy. That's another thing for the kids. They're giving these kids too much privacy. Yeah. Oh, your kid got the phone. You know what he's doing? Oh, no. I don't know. Where's your son at now? I think he's down the block. Woo! Our days, bro. Three oh, people. Man, forget it. We didn't have cell, we didn't have cell phones. We didn't forget have it. we had what was called the uh, ear telephone. Yeah. I mean, are you seen Charlie? Oh, Charlie! Yeah. Miss Mitchell said that he went down the block that Miss Huge seen him walking. Everybody knew where you were and everybody knew what you were doing. And I think, it, I believe it was a good thing back then, man. Because yeah, we didn't like see it said, that way, though. Yeah, we're like, damn, man, can't do nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were mad. <laughs> can't do nothing. Miss Huge said, I got to go upstairs. Yeah. Be like, he, she ain't your mama. Yeah, that's right. But don't say it too loud. Don't say it too loud. <laughs> Nowadays, they be like, you ain't my mother. Like, that's why I guess right. you know people probably be like, oh, there goes Lou's daughter, being bad in that corner. You ain't gonna say nothing. Hell no. What for him to say something to me? Nah. Mm-hmm. That's how the. That's why I think where everything died. Mm-hmm. The community is not helping each other because of that. But I see somebody's kid. What are you doing down here? Oh no no, this is a drug area. Let's go let's go. That's right. And I'll do uh-huh. it. And I'll do you know the what I'm saying. But people be like, oh, you're not my dad. I don't care if I'm not your dad. Get your ass up. I'll smack the crap out of you. I'll tell your dad, and then he'll come and smack you too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, that, this nigga not playing. He's not playing. I mean, mm-hmm. no, then, you know, yeah, it should be like that. But it ain't. With all the laws, it's tying adults' hands. And I think that's what changed a lot. Mm-hmm. Where if you spank your kid in the, in the bottom, he's calling, um, you know, the police and everything, talking yeah. about he abused me. But a lot of y'all don't know. It's the law now that you could spank the child. You can't just beat the crap out of them and bleed them and bust their eyes like they used to do back in the days. It's crazy. But you can, you can discipline them now, you know. So for you guys that don't know the law, now you do. So beat your child. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just joking. <laughs> they be like, LDM said beat him. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just joking. No, but discipline no, them. Back, back then, man, we used to get beat up, man. Uh, by chancleta and a pot and, and whatever and, was in the mama's and hand. And iron, you know. And there was nowadays, like, you just go like this to your kid and they actually call ACS. Mom hit me. After they start crying. <laughs> <laughs> like, really got damn sissies. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, and then when they send you to the room, it was, you didn't want to go to your room. 
Go to your room for about a week. We're like, oh, damn. I was like a dungeon. Oh, no, hey, uh, my, hey. You didn't know what to do in your room. Nowadays, go to your room. All right. How you going to punish someone and tell them to the room? They got a TV. They got video games. They got the cell phone. That's crazy. They got, you know, computers. Send them to the room with only a bed, a sheet, and that's it. It's like this shoe. And a pillow. And then you put the chancleta on the door to remind them why they did Wow. The guarantee they won't do it again. They'll be like, oh, I ain't going to this dungeon. I ain't. But it's the, uh, the way they're disciplining them now. They, the, the timeout, that thing never works. You can't time out a two-year-old that's already hyper. Yeah, but it comes, like I said, if, the, if you don't discipline them, they're not going to respect their parents. parents. So what's going to happen is they're going to say, I want you to do your homework and you better not, you know, play any video games. And they're going to be like, oh, mom, please. Yeah, and then they go. You know? <laughs> Keep going. You think I'm playing with you. Yeah, they are thinking you're playing with them because they don't, you don't enforce it. Yeah. And uh, I just, t- uh, there was a thing about kids act up more with mothers Mm -hmm. than they do with fathers. That's been known for many, many years. My son does the same thing. Every time my wife comes in, whoop, he changes. He's a total running around. Why are you running? Ah, And then he'll run to the room with his mother. But he does it in the house. But outside, I'll be like, ah, you ain't going to be like one of these kids. Mm -hmm. And I say it loud. I don't care. And some of the parents be with their kid looking at me all mean. Well, maybe because you got your kid in the supermarket and acting like this is a jungle gym. Yeah, yeah. Show them, show them in the beginning. Hey, this is speak out, bro. Yeah, right. Louis is like, oh, damn, he going to get me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Which is true. You know what okay. I'm saying? You got kids now. You know. Well, I only have one, but, you know, but, um, that, not, but that, I understand. Let's say if you would have brought your daughter up nowadays with the things that you could, you can't do that you did before. It'll be kind of hard. It's like your hands mm-hmm. are tied. So now with your daughter being uh, uh, older and you looked at her like, because I know you probably had a discipline. Uh, tell her to sit down. And it's hard for a uh, guy to tell a girl. Yeah, it was, it was a hard. Bit. It was hard. It, it is. It was hard. I, I, especially Charles, when she had long hair. She was five years old. She had long hair. She was like, Ooh. Daddy, I want you to blow out my hair. So you know what I did? I was like, wow. I was kind of like struggling. So right. like, next you know what? I said, damn, well, what do I have to do to improve to do a hair? Right. So when I did the buns, right, it was kind of like discombobulated. It was uneven. <laughs> so I was saying to myself, wow, when I saw her, that she had a back turn, and then I saw all these little girls with their heads done, and I used to get so frustrated, so, dis- you know, like I was upset because I was like, dang. Because you couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. So what I did, actually, I went to Toys R Us. I bought a Barbie doll with long hair, and I started yeah. practicing the ones and the twos with my mom. Because my mom had two boys. Right. So it's like, you know, actually, when I was raising her, and, and it was kind of hard, Charles, to raise a you know, girl by myself. So I called my mom to help me, too, man. Big shout out to my mother, man, because oh, oh. she's, she's that's, that's my world. Man. I love you. So I had to actually say, Daddy, uh, you know, my chest hurt. Or, you know, it's like it was, I, I didn't know what to do. But actually, the thing is that when she saw that, what I was doing for her, I, I think after that, it was not even a problem, man. So it's like, I just did it. Now, this is my baby, so I have to do it. Did, did you do the uh, holding the baby up and shower her like this because you didn't want to touch her? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I did that with my daughter. Yeah. I didn't want to touch her. I'm like, here, throw the soap. Yeah. Because <laughs> it happens. Because as a guy, it's harder. Like, but boy... Let's go. Yeah. Move, move. But then the girl, you be like, let's go. And then she look at you, be like, mm-hmm. you start crying like, I don't want to see this little girl, yeah. you know. So it, and but she never, you know, like that when she was a baby, she never gave me a problem. Like I, it was, it was crazy because, like she knew too, and she was like, actually would come up to me and talk to me and says, Daddy, every, everything is gonna be okay. When she was five, six years old, I was like, wow, mm. you know, it's crazy. So that gave me an extra sense to be like. Actually, be strong to push, and, you know, to push it up and be, you know, be a mom and a dad. Oh, I got the finger that we got to wrap it up. Is the end of the show? One minute to end of the show. Goodness gracious! Yeah. So we're gonna wrap it up. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, bottom line in business: do what you got to do to raise up to push, push yourself even more. Kids, we need to uh, 
push our kids to do more and not to be out there, you know, doing some bad stuff. But again, this is Team No Sleep. Check them out. Uh, let them know the uh, website again. Yeah, that's right. The website is www.teamnosleep.nyc. There we go. You know, I tell you, he fancy. He got the NYC. NYC, <laughs> baby. But, uh, yeah, support companies like this that are trying to help other people because every uh, dime that you spent with them, guaranteed about a nickel of it is going back into the community. Right, and Charles, there's yeah. a lot of big things coming, man, a lot of surprises, man, you're going to see, man. Oh, that's a, that's what we love see. to see. We be watching. We don't be stocking. We be watching. You're going to see. I'm going to see. Yeah, but keep it up, all the uh, community uh, people that are doing good. Again, uh, domestic violence and bullying is not a, a, a thing. Let's try to make that a thing of the past. Let's try to work very, very hard on... Uh, fighting against it, racism, all that stuff. It's a hard battle, but we need to get up there. Save Puerto Rico, they're still going to need help, so don't forget That's about right. it. Don't and, sleep. And big, big shout out to, to all these community activists, man, Nicole, Jay, mm -hmm. Judy, um, Lila, Nidus. These people are great, man. You know what yeah, I'm we saying? Gotta get them, we got to get them in the network. Yeah, I'm gotta telling you, these are powerful people, man, and I appreciate them. Hey, and uh, speaking of good people, again, the LDMnetwork.net, we have a bunch of shows. There's one show for you. Well, that, we got you. Don't worry about it. We got you. And I'm sorry <laughs> I'm sorry that I missed a couple of people as far as, you know, the, the situation is going on in Puerto Rico because we were actually there in, Puerto, you know, yeah. in Manhattan in court. Then we actually did the rally right next to Santander Bank. That's one of the banks yes. that were robbing Puerto Rico. So I'm sorry, Jonathan. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I'm sorry I forget. Yeah, we definitely, people, we definitely got to get these guys on. You got to get them, man. They got to people. They, they strong. Hey, uh, El Latino Juido, if you hear me, you got to get these guys on your show. Uh, that's a Spanish show on the network. Nice. So I, I said we got them. We got a hip-hop show. We got a Spanish show. We got a gay show. We got a, we got a TV nice. talk show. Nice. You know, on the radio, we got a hip-hop show. We got a speak out. We even got a geek show on nice. the radio. Talk about your geeks. We got you. Nice. You know, uh, uh, we ain't going to have no dog show. Mm. Mm. We're not there. Now nah, we're not we're not there yet. I'm not comfortable <laughs> with thinking your dog is your is your your kid. I'm not comfortable with that yet. <laughs> uh, hey, this is the LDM show. We'll see you next week with another guest. Or oh, I'll just probably be shooting the breeze. I don't know. I didn't check the schedule. But uh check us out, uh Team No Sleep on my page as well. So if you go on my friends page, you see all the people that are part of us. So hey, if you are doing good in your community and you know a hero. Let us know. Uh, we're going to be giving a, uh, an award in the summer for a hero out there. So this is Charles Aloma. This is my boy Lou from hey, Team No Thank Sleep. you for having me, man. No thank problem, you. Appreciate no problem. You, anytime. Anytime. Hey, family is more than just blood. Remember That's that. That's right. This is the LVM Show. We'll see you next week.